You know, there's something to be said about experimenting with an antenna more than once. You know, I came up, uh, I kind of drew up or dreamt up, if you want to call it, an idea for an off-center fed vertical antenna and built it. And, and uh, it, it actually, it worked out pretty good. It was a 29-foot vertical uh, off-center fed. And um, if you didn't watch the videos, the video before this one that I put out, uh, I'll, I'll put a link down at the bottom. But basically what I did was use the random length of the random wire, 29-foot length, and uh, that's 8.8 .8 meters, and, and, and off-center fed it. And uh, I was at the beach, actually, up on a dune, like right in front of the uh, the water there at the beach uh, over by the Chesapeake Bay. Really cool. I had, a, I had a, uh, a lot of fun with it, man. It was a great antenna. Um, it was morning. There was uh, a contest. It was a weekend morning. There was contests going on in Europe. And Europe was wide open, every band. It was, it was, it was just a, a great, you know, conditions were perfect for it. I want to build, I saved everything. I said I was going to just take that wire, wrap it around the, the bow and, and, and get back out with it. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm ready to roll with it again. A little bit different though. I'm going to do it now. It's getting late in the afternoon. So I'm going to try it in the afternoon. Different location. I'm going to do it here, uh, right by my house here in the harbor. And, um, and, and see what happens. I want to just kind of compare this thing with different band conditions, a different location. Yeah, I'm by salt water still, but I'm, I'm in an urban environment. I'm surrounded by a lot of things, a marina in front of me, houses, buildings, businesses. There's a lot going on here. And so it's not as quiet as it was when I was at the other location. Now, Europe is probably not as open as it was um, on in the morning on that Saturday morning, I looked at the at the uh, maximum usable frequency, the muff map earlier, and it's starting to fade away a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I might even try 80 meters. I did when I I went to uh, this thing hardly even needed to be tuned. SWR was real good on 80, but nothing nothing was happening on 80, and uh, and I couldn't get out. But anyway, I'm going to put the antenna back up here in the harbor, and we're going to try it under different circumstances. So we're gonna experiment with an antenna for a second time in a different environment. Stick around. Okay, here we go. Here's the setup. What I've got is a 10 meter DX Commander pole, identical to the way I set this thing up on the beach. So the upper element is 25 feet, and the lower element is is four feet. That is my LDG four to one ballon that I have there. Uh, the DX Commander pole is slid on top of a piece of PVC pipe I have driven into the ground here. This is the Portsmouth, Virginia uh, seawall here. There's Norfolk on the other side of the marina here. What I did with the coax to kind of keep it up and high is ran it up over top of the Jeep, around the back, and, and in the side window here. So um, there you go, guys. There's the antenna. Uh, like I said, I did a video on this before. You can check that one out as well. But um, we're going to see now different conditions how this thing will work. It is windy, man. I mean, really windy. So uh, let's get in and see how things are going. And here inside the Jeep, we are working with uh, my Zygu G90. And I'm chasing it up today. Checking out my little uh, 6 amp hour uh, LifePo 4 battery. Guys, if, I, I see this question a lot. If you're just getting started, you're looking for something small, very affordable, and um, and, and easy that works. This thing lasts for hours with my Zygu G90. Um, take a peek at this. I think I paid about 35 bucks on uh, Amazon for that battery, and it came with the charger with it as well. So uh, the, the whole setup, I actually used that charger on my other big battery that didn't come with one. So if you're looking for it, um, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not trying to make anything out of it. it looks like the brand is Talent Cell. Check look into that. A six amp hour battery, pretty good. I've had man, I've got a, I've been, a lot of use out of that. But anyway, here's the G90. Um, let's uh, let's look around, do some hunting, and see if we could uh, work some uh, work some stations. Hopefully some DX. K4 zero zero over. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. You got a gr great signal into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. K4 OGL, this is K4 KW. Your report is 59 Pool, Ohio. Over. 
Thank you. Hey, thank you so much for Ohio. It's wonderful what you guys are doing. Good luck and have fun. 73. 93. Over. 59 Yankee Baba. Who are that? Kilo 4 Oscar. Golf Oscar. Q4, Oscar, 5-9, QSL. QSL, you're five nine into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. QSL, thank you, Norfolk, 7-3, 59, Yankee Bravo, QRZ. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, QSL. QSL, you're five nine into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, we also have you a 5-9 in Erie, Pennsylvania. Hey, thanks for Erie. Uh, what school are you guys with? Harvard Creek High School, just a couple miles south of Lake Erie. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Good to get you in the log. 73 and good luck. Yep, 73. Thanks for the contact. QSL, 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 you're 5 5 into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Hey, thanks for Texas. I'm portable as well, but not at a park. I'm 20 watts portable uh, sitting here by the salt water here in the harbor. Hey, this is Walt. You got me. That would be me. Yep, that's the videos. I'm out right now experimenting with the uh, antenna that I had this weekend. It's an off-center fed uh, vertical. So I wanted to try it uh, in a different location. I had it at the beach this weekend, and now I'm down by the uh, here in the harbor with it. Hey, sweet. Glad to, glad to talk to you. Thanks for your video. Thanks, Matt. Hey, um, and thanks for hunting the Have yourself a great day, Walt. 73. Can you confirm you are 204 Oscar Golf Oscar? QSL, QSL, the name is Walt, and you're 5-5 five, five into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Hey, Walt, here on the uh, logger, this is QO India 5, Uniform X-ray Whiskey here uh, from the Lost High School Amateur Radio Club. It is awesome to hear you on the air. We're all uh, big fans of your YouTube channel over there. Back to you. Hey, thank you so much. Are you guys part of the uh, schools on the air, the, the thing going on this week? I think this is so awesome. It really is. And um, with your permission, I, I might stick you in a video. That would be awesome. Uh, I guess uh, I'll be the first one to like it. I'm the first one to see it. Hey, uh, thank you so much for your patience, Walt. And uh, thank you so much for everything that you do for uh, for us here. Uh, this is Kilo 5, Lima Bravo Juliet. Uh, to Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar 73. Thank you so much, 73. Hey, who was the first caller? The name on that? Okay, Emily and Jim. Hey, thanks so much, guys. So good to get you guys in the log. 73, my friends. Thank you so much. 73. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, uh, W5PS. Thanks for the call. Good afternoon. Name here is Peter, and I'm in northern Texas, about 55 miles north of Dallas. K4OGO, W5PS. Uh, we are in a school, a Prince of Peace Christian School in Carrollton, Texas, uh, just uh, northwest of the Dallas area. So um, I help a school club set up a station on their backyard and operate in the afternoon. Hope to get some here. So and thank you a lot for answering. Hey, thank you so much. It's wonderful what you're doing. Have a great day and all the best. 73, my friend. I have a Kilo 4 station. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. You guys have a wonderful signal into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. You're 5'9". Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. You're 5'9 into Morgantown, West Virginia. Hey, thank you so much for Morgantown. Uh, go Mountaineers. Walter, good afternoon. How you doing down there in Virginia? Doing well, doing well. Sitting out in the Jeep Portable here in the uh, harbor. The sun's out, the rain has passed, and uh, just sitting here. I uh, heard you guys. Thanks for letting me check in. Just a little 20 watt portable sitting here having a little fun. All right, very good. Very good there, Walter. Good to hear you. Portable, uh, uh, Portsmouth, uh, Virginia. That's right on the Chesapeake Bay or the ocean. 
Yeah, I'm on the, uh, actually, it's the Elizabeth River, which feeds right into the Chesapeake Bay here. I'm sitting right next to the uh, water here, uh, like I said, portable. All right, well, very good. Thank you for, uh, thank you for checking in there. This, uh, the, your mobile is making it up here quite nicely to Cape May. Uh, uh, I was just, I was just, uh, I have a, for some reason, I have a, a real high uh, noise static level right, right at this particular moment. I couldn't get your call. I was, I know it was O and O, but I, 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 I missed the, missed that metal letter there. So, hey, great to hear you from the mobile. Hey, thanks a lot. I got some static too. I, I uh, equated to what's going on here in the harbor. I'm sitting right next to a marina, and I think that may be causing it on my end. I think we're uh, the signal's just going straight up the Chesapeake Bay, then, and then maybe across the uh, Del Marva to get to you. There probably a lot of water between me and you. Uh, QSL, you're five seven into the harbor of Norfolk, Virginia. Okay, thanks. You're five seven into uh, Virginia there, and uh, stand by for Brenda. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. This is November zero, India November Golf. You're five nine, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, you guys are up to about a 5.8. Band's kind of crazy with QSB. Thanks for activating and thanks for taking the call. 73, you guys. Thank you, 73. Yeah, the bands have been really strange. But thanks for hunting. 73. Roger, Roger. Kilo 4, Oscar. Golf Oscar. Thank you so much for the contact. 73. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar 5-9. Hi, QSL. You're 5-9 into Norfolk, Virginia. Thanks for picking me up. 73. Good to get you in the log. I QR that. Okay, that was fun, and I'll tell you why. I, uh, I'm going to add something to the end of this video, and it's a pretty special moment for me um, and something that really was cool. First off, I want to say the school roundup thing is one of the most awesome things that ever happened to ham radio. So exciting. That's going on right now. So cool to make contacts with uh, with these youngsters and, and young people uh, that are um, – that are. They're going to keep our hobby going, and uh, man, that has just warmed my heart. What an amazing, wonderful thing for you teachers, instructors, and, and, and people that volunteer and to make this happen in these schools. God bless you, man. You're awesome. It really is, uh, and it, it was just one of the most awesome things. Uh, the performance of the antenna and comparing this antenna, you know, from uh, last time, they use it in this time. Um, noise, man. I got a lot of noise again. This location right now in the winter is like, it's getting ready to get marked off and not, I'm not, it's just bothering me, especially 20 meters. A lot of noise. If you looked at the screen of the radio, man, I was in noise blanker off on adjustments, gain control, man. I played everything I could to try to eliminate noise on the radio there, but, um, made a lot of contacts when, when every band up and down, um, as I knew, it's, it's now it's getting later, getting closer to the gray line. Uh, on 10 meters, South America was just starting to boom in, and I made some contacts there. Now, for the coolest thing, I got to tell you guys, I'm not a uh, an 80 meter guy at all. Uh, I knew that this thing tuned 80 meters well before when I did it, and um, I, I tell you what, I have most of my 80 meters, if not all of my 80 meter contacts, are in Poland when I was in Poland across Europe because uh 80 was just a friendlier band I should say uh for me to get on and, and make contacts with than it is here in the states I don't mean anything against anybody for that but you know what I'm talking about sometimes especially with low power it's hard I'm going to finish this video I'm just going to let it play out I got on 80 meters and uh, there was a net going on and uh I had a relay that was getting me back in in and out of the net and uh pretty awesome you'll hear it if you listen to it all the way to the end um that uh, i i broke into this net on 80 meters and uh and made a pretty good contact anyway stick around if you want to hear me on 80 meters um people ask a lot of times do you ever get on 80 don't you try it will that antenna work on 80 this antenna worked on 80 guys with 20 watts it really did so that was pretty cool hey if you like uh experimenting with antennas hf ham radio that's the part of uh, ham radio i like um playing with different radios different antennas especially low power please like and subscribe and now here's the rest of the story anyone else kilo four oscar golf oscar
Roger, Roger, the name is Walt here in Norfolk, Virginia. Yes, it's Walt. I'm in Norfolk, Virginia, southeastern Virginia, the city of Norfolk. QSL, QSL, that is correct. Great. Thanks for letting me check in here. I was wondering if I could get do anything on the 80 meters here. I just have 20 watts here, like I said, in Virginia. I was trying to check in to see if I could get to you guys. God bless you, and thank you so much for letting me check in. Well, you sound good here in Charlottesville. I don't think Bay's copying you yet. Thank you so much. 73, guys. Thanks for the relay. QSL, back to you. Thanks so much, Jim. I appreciate the relay there. Walter, have a great rest of the week and a happy Valentine's to you. K4 